What's up, guys? Uh, Nate from Fairness Racing Customs here. Um, this will be what my third video today. Um, it's getting later in the evening. Um, it's all, almost six o'clock now. Um, anyways, uh, as the Pete goes, um, there she is. He is whatever. Um, it's painted. Um, ran out of red paint um so i didn't really get a chance to do any kind of a second coat on it um no wet sanding <clears throat> so and i can't wet sand it now because uh, the coat that's on here is um not very thick so it's not my normal spray it until you know whatever but there it is. Uh, it's painted. It's red. I got a future it still. Um, just to kind of tell you um, how light the coat is. Flat white primer and it was uh, that gloss fire red and it has a satin finish to it. So it's not it's not um it's not a really high gloss finish um although it does look kind of cool that way but um i'm gonna future it just to give it an extra layer because like i said it's it's thin i'm kind of um, afraid to handle it too much without future protecting it um just because i fear i'm gonna rub the paint off so but <clears throat> Um, still got some detail painting to do on it, and then I gotta paint the uh, interior of the cab, and the Pete will be done. Um, so as I was waiting for that to dry, I kind of pulled this out and um, was starting to mock things up on it. Um, and like I said, don't worry, the tow truck is gonna come before this. I'm just trying to understand uh, pretty much everything, and if. If there is one thing that I have learned from you guys on YouTube, it's pretty much kind of like the uh, measure twice and cut once rule, only it's uh, mock it 9,000 times and then glue it once. So, um, but yeah, I'm just kind of going through it and just got some things I'm thinking about. Um, paint color, paint schemes, if I'm going to do a paint scheme, if I'm going to do a solid color, or if I'm even going to paint it. I might just detail paint and leave it. I mean, this, it was molded so beautifully. I mean, there's no, on the body, there is no flash, no mold lines, no visible mold lines. I, I went through it and really, um, the dashboard has a mold line. But the, the dashboard mold line is so faint that, I mean, if I just rubbed a piece of sandpaper across it, it would go away. Um, so, um, but yeah, it, it will, well, you know, I'll do the adjustable suspension, although I probably won't adjust it too many times. Um, I'm still not doing, I mean, uh, the flip the flip bed you know because there's nothing really to show underneath there so well other than the uh, fuel cell maybe that's why it's a flip bed because there's a fuel cell but then again there also is a fuel door on the side of or on the panel of the pickup so so anyways um yeah so I'm gonna Go ahead and 
carefully put this stuff back in the box and um, for right now um, I did plan on painting the truck the tow truck or the wrecker today but I didn't I can paint it tomorrow I can uh, I'm gonna go through um, and do my little detail painting that I need to do on the cab of the Peterbilt. I'm gonna paint the interior of the Peterbilt. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the Peterbilt. Um, then also whatever else I need painted up on it. Um, hopefully tonight I will have it finished and um, I will have it finished and I will have the final update video on the Pete. Um, if not, it will be finished tomorrow. Um, that is my plan. Um, as it goes with the tow truck, um, I mean, I can paint everything tonight with no no issues. And then, it, because it's a curbside kit, I just I can paint everything but the body and be done with it tonight. Um, so I may do that too um, if I don't get the peep done. So. Um, and then, uh, but anyways, as it goes with the Peterbilt, uh, plan on um, drilling right here for the headlights and pinning the headlights in. Um, and uh, you know, put my. I'm gonna go ahead and put my decals on it, and um, put my decals on it. Future, oh, I'm gonna future it, buff it, put my decals on, future it, buff it. Um, I, I, that future stuff, man, I love using that to to seal in my um, my decals, cause I mean it. It does a wonderful job. So, um, so anyways, that's gonna be it, guys, for uh, at least right now. Um, thanks for the comments, especially Dr. Cranky. Um, you know, uh, I know I said I was gonna try to do some custom stuff, but like I said, I just can't. I can't think of a very. Uh, I can't think of really anything to customize on it. Um, I mean, other than doing custom paint and um, <clears throat> like what I'm gonna do, which is strip the chrome and um, everything's gonna be painted to match, uh, or anything that doesn't need to be chrome is gonna be stripped of chrome, and it's all gonna be painted to match. Um, so I don't know yet. I'm still deciding on this. Um, Peterbilt will be done, if not tonight, it will definitely be done tomorrow, and um, then I'll get working on the tow truck, and then that's, then it's on to whatever, whether it be the Toyota, or if it be the Dragster, um, or I keep forgetting I also have um, Atomic Dog 32 gave me that um, Lincoln Mint um, Daytona that I still need to finish up too so and then my numerous uh, vehicles that I've got back on on the slab and that I'm redoing because I didn't like something or I was going a different direction and I couldn't at the time or whatever so um, but anyways until next time guys Nate from Famous Racing Customs, and I'm signing off.